G'day guys, it's Ben from Snowies here, and today we're having a quick look at our range of trekking poles. Now the reality is, is that a trekking pole is as individual as the person that owns it, so there's lots of different options out there. So we're going to go through some of the, the differences between the poles, and that way you can actually help you work out uh, which one's best for you. So we'll start off with the handles. Now there's four main options when it comes to handles. This first one here is a rubber handle. Now not great for sweat absorption, it is relatively comfortable, but you are more prone to blisters. Uh, if you're going in the snow or something and you're going to have um, you know, something comfortable under the glove and grip the end of the glove, that's probably your your best option there. Next option is again on the cheaper end, uh, we're looking at a, a plastic one. So if you're going for short hikes, it's a good uh, reasonable price. It's quite comfortable on the hand there, they're nice and contoured, uh, but again, uh, they're not very great for sweat absorption. The next one uh, is your foam handle. Now foam handles are quite good for sweat absorption. Uh, if you're like me though and you get really sweaty hands, they can get a little bit swampy under there, which is not so pleasant, um, but it is better at absorbing the sweat than the, than the first two ones. And the good thing about the foam handles as well, you'll see is that they, the handle actually extends a fair way down. So if you're climbing uphill for short periods of time, you can actually grip it up here. You can pull yourself uphill and you don't then have to worry about your shortening it and lengthening it all the time. So these are really great option for, for you know your undulating territory. Now that the fourth option, um, which is my personal preference for me, is, is your cork. Now the cork again is quite good for um, sweat absorption, but what it also does as well being a natural cork is that over time it does uh, mold around your hand so that it will sort of start to fit your hand a bit better, a bit more comfortable. It wicks the sweat away, uh, but doesn't get swampy underhand as well. So there's your four your four handle options. Now next thing we're going to have a quick look at is your your um, pole material. Now, 90% of poles are an alloy. It's a great, light, strong material. Now, the next one up, which is a bit more expensive, again, a bit lighter, just as strong as your carbon. And now, they're your two main types. Now, there's three ways that your poles fold down. They all fold down to be smaller, that's sort of a pack size. The first is this flip lock. So, if it's a, as it sounds, you simply flick it up, push it down, you flick it back into place and that locks up. Most of them will have two. There you go, and you've got a nice, small, compact pole for popping into your bag or into the car wherever you're putting it. Now the second option is your, your twist lock. So you just basically unscrew it, it takes a few screws. Now the thing with these ones is that if you don't screw it all the way up when you're tightening it, you're likely to, to lose a bit uh, as you're walking, it'll, it'll slowly shrink down. So your third option, which is a little bit more fiddly, uh, but it's great for people that have only got a small day pack or trying to save space, uh, is your, your Z-type. So it folds down, folds down a little bit more, and then it actually comes apart. So it comes apart into three even sections. And the good thing about it as well is it's really easy to, to pull back in. So you simply just pull up like so, clicks in place, and away you go, good to go. So now the last thing we're gonna have a look at is, is your tips. Now there's, there's two main types of tips I suppose. We'll grab uh, one there, one there. So if you look at the end here, you'll notice a little metal tip, and it's called a carbide tip. Now every pole comes with this, uh, but you will find that a few also come with a little rubber cover for it, known as a rubber tip. So that pops off, pops back on again, and that's good for when you're walking on, on asphalt and the like, or more, more built up gravel sort of uh, tracks, because it protects your carbide tip. Now if yours doesn't come with the rubber tip, no need to fret, you can buy them as a spare part, and it simply just slides on over the top of your carbide tip nice and easy. So you can always have a rubber tip if you want it. You notice as well on this pole here that it's got a little, what we call a basket. Now it's basically just a, a little um, plastic piece that stops you from getting stuck in between rocks or, or sinking too deep if you're in mud, soft ground, grass or, uh, or even snow. Now uh, when you're in some really soft ground, so probably most likely snow or some really sloshy sort of mud, there's also what we call a powder basket which you can get. Now these ones are sold separately uh, but they do attach on, these ones come off, attaches on uh, and then it's, you know, it means you're not going to sink too, too far deep into snow and the like when you're, you're trekking through some, some really harsh conditions. So this pretty much covers it uh, when it comes to all of our trekking poles, all the different information that you, you might need to find about them. Now it probably is worth noting as well uh, that we do have uh, another option when it comes to handles, this little pistol grip type handle. It's not a, a walking pole necessarily, more of a walking stick, but you can lean on it, give some good support, which, which is good to know. Now all of these poles, uh, all the different combinations are available online on our website, snowies.com.au with fast free delivery Australia wide. Until next time, happy trekking.